Good morning, this is Kara Coffey of the Ministry of Uncovering the More. I just cooked some lovely asparagus from H-A-B to add to a packaged salad. We've been so busy, but I do have salad makings. Perhaps I will slow down by Friday and Saturday and be able to make my salad for lunch dinner. It's a long-standing tradition among my generation's baby boomer and X that has stand to you has stand is not a proper verb conjugation. To care coffee, the ministry of uncovering the more. I am speaking in that tense, whatever mysterious tense it is, as an immortal has stand. Because what I'm about to share is a poem I wrote with a squirrel in a broken tree that I was mourning for. But then I am going to be called to read something that of poetry I have written yesterday. Do you see the Eagle Scout, Ben? That is my brother's. Do you see the bag? That's from Whole Foods. Inside the bag is tiger eyes, a little bottle that my daughter gave me, other implements of Oracle, and indeed, Runes. Let's open the bag. Baby Boomer, I'm talking to you. Generation Millennial, I am talking to you. X is caught in the middle many times. Walt Whitman is speaking to you and saying, there is beauty in being kind. And you need to remember from whence your fathers and forefathers, your mothers and foremothers. Let me say that again. Your mothers and foremothers, your fathers and forefathers came from. How many of us suffered with misogyny? How many of us suffered with white supremacy in this 200 and almost 50 year country? How many of us keep coming into your churches, keep giving money and time and trusting you? How many? And you betray us still, corporate America. Let me ask you a question, corporate America. Is it free will that we're using to grace your places and to be kind when you're forcing politics on us day in and day out? Who has a true voice in this country? Well, I can tell you I have worked hard for the true voice that I have. And that is exactly why I have 13 blogs. Social media is dying. I will tell you this, the king is killing it on purpose because you lack kindness, simple kindness. And I will always follow his lead. Always. The difference and only difference between he and I is that my tribe Judah election is mysterious and his is not. He is still the Jew. As are his fathers and mothers mothers and fathers and forefathers and mothers for mothers and fathers whom I meet and am privileged to work with. We used social media as graciously as we could for a time and times. Let me say that again. We used and use still social media for a time and times. 
if I remain on X, it's because there is one or two accounts that still lead from that particular platform. Facebook, Instagram, and threads are freer, and I love life, and I actually get to see my Davis Beatty and Beatty family and talk to them occasionally. We don't like social media. There will come a day that it becomes a graveyard. My children and I are forcing that. Most of us are off of it or almost off of it. And we lost our lives. And you're part of the reason why, social media. We are faithful people on the ground. Have been and always will be. There is beauty in being kind, small a America. There is beauty in being kind, says Walt. I'm about to publish in and amongst two beautiful men. T.S. Eliot, Stephen Vincent Benet. And then again, Stephen Vincent Benet and T.S. Eliot. I was uh, privileged, horrifically, with finding something in my old copy that I'm so, I'm going to kiss it, I'm so graciously appreciative, as appreciative as I can be for places like Half Price Books, where people who have kept these beautiful books bought them from the library, come to me, and I just find them. I do, I just find them, and that's a beautiful thing. And you can't take what I already have away from me in books, but you've taken all my people away from me, America. So you can go fuck yourself. This is what I'm beginning to work on. If you'll notice, and I have already put it in my cart, Tiger Joy is the next one. He's speaking directly to me in this poems because I'm a tiger. I can even show you in my brother's coloring book where I color the tiger for, I believe, the second time I've colored. This is the second rendering of that coloring book. I'm taking my time. It has the same kind of paper as this. I love this kind of paper. This is the me that is more inclined to learn to draw, which I'm learning to do. And um, I love this paper and I love this way. I'm trying to grow because painting and glitter pens and everything is nice too. But I want you to look. There's Tiger Joy. And then there's Heavens and Earth. John Brown's body, which from what I could gather on the internet is quite a large work. Ballard's, excuse me, <laughs> quack quack, not Mallard's, Kara. Ballads and Poems, Burning City, Young Adventure, A Book of Americans with Rosemary Benet. I have Rosemary in my garden. Nightmare at Noon, they burned the books. And then one of his last works was Western Star in the Way of Badger. So I have a lot of poetry. And here's the other fun thing that's not fun. It's just a part of my life because I can always point to streets. There is a street near here named Western Star. So Stephen Vincent Benet is most definitely here. They burned the books, my loves. 
they're pretending to be Hitler's people killing Jews now as Republicans, aren't they? And Stephen Vincent Benet knew it as much as Kara Coffey does. So I was watching Harry Potter with my family. We're gonna try to do it once a year. It's got a lot of relevance and what is more, one of my witch friends met with me. Uh, she didn't contact me before. I don't, people in my immortal world do not contact me. They know I will find them. It's automatic and she, uh, yesterday, she and I had a beautiful conversation at my main place of ministry. Now, and um, a lot of times friends like her don't know what to do with me because I love and that's about all I'm good for and I'm forever grateful that this body formed Kara Beatty Coffee, Kara BC, BC the immortal BC before Christ, but uh, no, it's not before Christ now. It may be I have to change my name to come out from under the persecution of ages stripping through my metaphysical form in a way of tears love, anguish. If you have been jealous around me, I have channeled it. If you have been angry around me, I have channeled it. If you have been loving around me, I have channeled it. And if you have been self-conscious around me, I have channeled it. I channel everybody's emotions 100% of the time. Back to Harry Potter. They have safe houses. Yes, we do. Now let's go to Stranger Things because a lot of people know that I'm L. A lot of people. But you are probably not one of them. Have I ever bled out the nose? Looks different on me. Today is one of the days that Eleven would have been bleeding out the nose and had to rest afterwards. Today is one of those days. For Kara Coffey and the ministry that I'm covering. I've cooked the beautiful asparagus. It's going in a packaged salad because I need a break. I bought tea, red diamond tea, so I didn't have to make it today for my family. Maybe tomorrow I will have the wherewithal to make it. Maybe not. We have some lovely tamale from H-E-B that we are going to gently steam later. I'm going towards vegetables just now. Behind me is my juicer, my very, very high-quality juicer that I pulled out again. I had bought stuff to juice for two days. I give a little to my partner as well as I drink a little. Right now, I'm on my first cup of tea with honey and cream. I am choosing not to, uh, there's my star cup, Lex cup, isn't it beautiful? I am choosing not to, uh, these sat in my mother's kitchen. I am choosing not to partake of um, animal products, all vegetables, primarily because I bought them and then got busy and I love to cook in my kitchen, but then life happens and then life happens. So tomorrow I have two large Zucchini, I can hear the birds. 
and purple onions and pasta sauce. I'll do something. I think today I'm not going to watch my TV shows. I'm uh, finishing Madame Secretary right now. I think that's on Netflix. There's one I'm going to watch. It's not on Netflix. I don't remember which one, so I'll be talking about it. It's about a Jew. The, the main act, the main player is a Jewish man. And oh my God. <laughs> the truths are real. I also watch Friends occasionally because the truths are real. The truths are real. So. They burned the books, all right. Stephen Vincent Benet is going to save us as much as T.S. Eliot, Ralph H. Bloom, with his room books. He, he went to the other side in 2016. Oh, there's an untried Judah. I'm going to save him. I haven't much yet read chapters of the book of Revelation. I need to be stronger. I have also foreseen that there are people in my life older than me, that the king will be there and that I will say what I really need to say to you and you will not be allowed to answer me. So you wait. You wait in silence or as the case may be, perhaps you should help one another. Save yourself from what is to come in my private life. I don't have a title for this poem. I will give it to it now and write it down. Let's see, I used, okay, just a moment. I have to get the proper set of pins, <laughs> gel pens. These, oh my goodness, I want to thank. I have been reunited <laughs> with Paper Mate Ink Joy Gel 0.7. Y'all, y'all, look at the green. Now, they know how to get to care of coffee. I'm the Ministry of Uncovered Memoir. Look at this gold. That, I got chills. Come on, y'all. Go get their pens. Y'all keep making this paper, mate. Oh, my goodness. I have had a revival. Look at these two, other two. See, look at these other two greens. Do you see when they do this? I just am. I become a little girl again. Here's my red and pink. Oh, the one I don't have, but I have it somewhere. Oh, yes, I do. Look at this gorgeous brown, y'all. Look at it. So, but these are not the one in this art book. Here's the gray. And they have some other. Oh, look at this one, y'all. Now look at this one. I haven't played with this one yet. I haven't, I haven't had my moment. S Stephen Vincent Benet's work is not this. This is this is something else. I'm not sure. I will know when I get there. And I've already used this one. See, these are more spring colors. And I'm kind of in a, a winter moment because. Look at this beautiful, different purple. This is a lighter purple. I'm I'm in a place, see here's their darker purple. I, this one is more common and I love this one. But I will tell you, I can't use this and the darkest blue of theirs, which is gorgeous too. It has to be one or the other because they look a lot alike from camera. Does that make sense? The camera, changes colors you know when i'm sitting here looking at them i can see the difference but the camera doesn't pick up the difference a lot of times that's all i know so i am ecstatic with these but these are not the ones that i love i love these other ones too can you tell i'm passionate about my art materials and i hope for you that you have a passion a little passion that you can get at walmart or at h-e-b your grocery store your walmart or your target and afford it occasionally and you just revel on it. Because today is my revel day since as 11, I had a bleed out the nose. 
day that I wasn't bleeding out the nose. Um, I have other markers of when the power is so strong, it surges through and takes me down. Okay? You're not going to hear those in your upper because you just misuse people like me constantly. I suggest you watch Madame's secretary. That is an extremely accurate to both physical and metaphysical reality. Serious. That is very well done. These guys and gals, this is, this is a inner gel, liquid gel ink pen towel. They forced me to fall in love with them too. This is made in Japan. I just love, this is metal tip 0.7. Babes, oh my God. Here's another love affair. And they came out with more colors. And I'll be dead gummed. <laughs> I'll be dead gummed. I think um, people are understanding that if I don't have my colors and my pencils, it's mainly my pencils and my uh, ink pens that I kind of go unhappy. Look at this. Let me show you a few of theirs. You get these pens, y'all. Oh my goodness, if you like to write in notebooks, get them for school, y'all. Oh, I don't go to school, can't afford it, either metaphysically or otherwise, so I've had to say goodbye. I don't like them. My life is just slipping away, and I don't have anything but love and pens and pencils. And America has has destroyed Generation X, my loves. America has destroyed Generation X. We're gone. We're just fading away. Baby boomers kind of tend to hate on us. Blaming us for things we didn't do. I was disinherited primarily because of issues amongst baby boomers that were fighting amongst themselves. But I'm grateful that we can make, you know, be here. I'm grateful. So it looks like one-legged crow pecking the parking lot. Okay. It looks like, let's see what color I want to go with. Yeah, this one is just, uh, and I had to add to this one. This one I'm just going to go with the black. I, I changed different colors, but it's tricky. What are we going to title this? I have... Yeah, okay. Okay, so see here, and I'll show you. I'm gonna do it upside down. Um, I just published uh, artwork for T.S. Eliot's Four Quartets. So this is a little getting. Do you see that piece right there? I'm gonna have to do that, okay? This, this bar, this bar. That's how you do books where, because um, this is a, this poem I'm about to read you is a nine, is from a nine page presentation of four quartets. But I'm going to bring it forward with my voice and go ahead and title it today. And so when I, when I title it, oh no, there's not room there. I'm gonna have to find room. Okay, this is gonna be a little strange. <laughs> this video is strange, so you can be okay. But I tell you what, people who make books are going to completely understand me right here because we go back to our books and we add. Isn't that lovely? Okay, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna swoop up with my black pen, but I'll come in with some colors. I'll decide those after I finish the video, and I'm gonna swoop down. This is gonna be pretty. Okay, and then I'm gonna draw a straight line on one of the lines. And I'm gonna encase it, which means I'm not gonna go all the way out to the edge of the page. Okay, you're gonna wait for a minute, and I'll just read it to you, but we'll decide what the poem is going to be called as I finish this. this. And then I will show it to you before I add color.
squirrel on plank, curious at me. Squirrel. Did y'all know that squirrel has two R's? <laughs> On plank. Curious. At me. And what I want to encourage you to do is go ahead and be a little strange to people, just don't talk about it. And um, understand that you can hear the animals and they can hear you and it is it is paradise. And just don't talk about it because people are making fun of people too much. But I can guarantee you, if you know me in Austin, I can guarantee you one thing, I will never make fun of you. And I will appreciate it if you don't hammer on me for my strangeness. If, I, if to you I say something and I made fun of you or demoralized you, tell me right there. And I'll ask you to forgive me and I'll rephrase what I was trying to say in a more humble manner. I can tend to sound cocky sometimes out of my own pain and I can tend to laugh too loud out of my own pain. And it is moving away, the pain is. So I'm going more silent. One of my key, key, key songs is Simon and Garfunkel's Sound of Silence, which was written and performed thereafter pretty much uh, around my birthday, uh, at least in the year or year before or after. So it's just, you know. One of those things like Stephen Vincent Benet already having written, I believe it was a play, they burned the books. The thing is, is I have a previous commitment to Robert Browning who is faded in the background, which I very much dislike because if there is a gentleman who knows how to love a woman, it is Robert Browning. And we have Robert Browning straight in Austin and I would like so much to go shopping over there and be over there. But I have felt very deeply from the Lord great spirit, in other words, unseen metaphysically, that that is for Christmas. So Robert Browning may be the only one I, I give everyone as far as poetry at Christmas. And there, I have specific places I can go to access that beautiful love of uh, Robert and Elizabeth Barrett Browning. But I will also make sure to take it to my basic place of ministry because that love belongs there. There's a love in my main place of ministry. You need to understand that when I say that, I thought I had to curse situations going on in that place. And I thought I would never return and it broke my heart. And so now my heart is mended. But I will also, and I will also tell you this, that the youth are speaking there in graffiti. And I had a waking vision uh, for the last 24 hours because uh, some of the king's men and I, one of them in particular, we're discussing the fact that we need to interpret what our young people are saying in our area of town. We need to hear the young people because that's what we intend on doing quietly uh, as we retire from social media, basically is what's happening. We're pulling away from social media. You have betrayed us and you don't need us and you showed us that. And so. We're moving. We're moving into a quiet place, and I'm gr grateful for that. All right, so here is my poem, Squirrel on Plank, Curious at Me. One-legged crow pecking the parking lot. Injured tree beckons where squirrel chatters. Sun for a moment in my eyes to comfort. I straighten my spine Hope emotions don't shatter. You were injured, and my heart hurts for thee. Yes, 
yet he opened my eyes to love's Lee. Where the moss grows, and I pretend love sows more strongly than political hate. So all I know to do is wait and wait, wait. Unselfish is the word which Kara heard before I thanked squirrel on plank. What I'm saying is we must tend to unselfishness in our places now. We have that in voting, vote blue. Curious at me, afraid of we. Afraid of we, I wish I could be free. I wish I could buy that cup on the shelf, go to the postman, send it again, dare, to remind of time before darkness had taken my adult child, now ensnared in life's painful, and at first I said snare, but then in pink, because I'm the mother of child number three. Karmic layer. If there is one person in Texas who will tell you that mothers love deep, no matter what, it would be me. I'm grateful that on the heavenly door property that my dad and my brother built, <laughs> my dad's brother built. My brother was the one that died twice in Garland, Texas in a street. And before he died, second time, turned to dad and told him that he loved his sister so much. My brother knew he was coming back. Dad couldn't tell me that until I was in my late forties. It was so painful to he and I. I told some, a baby boomer last week, if anyone surrounding my life thought what happened with my brother, my father, and I was painful. Try being a woman of, with 10 children who the world destroyed their mother as an archangel walked off and left her with 10 living children, some of which cannot even talk to me. That strips so badly through our lives and our relationship. I either have to find them or I have to weep inside. So you will excuse me if I do not care about the young woman that just jogged by because I would rather have my seven daughters here now, eating vegetables with me. And every day you destroy another day in the Western world to where my children are separated from me like this. It is a day that I am a testimony that love remains. Poetry exists despite hell. This is Kara Coffey of the Ministry of Uncovered.